the three forgotten heroes are getting a major revamp. From skills with high burst potential to being invisible after a kill, these heroes will break the meta. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to talk about three major upcoming hero revamps and analyze their skills. Let's begin with this brief statement. Hellcurt is still a predator who gets his prey by sneaking up on them. With his redesigned skills, which emphasize stealth, quick reaction times, and art of ambush, he may do massive damage before his rivals can counter it. Hellcurt's distinct gameplay mechanics are highlighted by the retention of the distinctive Stinger's stakes and ability to restrict sight range. In the correct hands, these essential skills are what make Hellcurt a terrifying opponent. Raven Passive Styx Shadow Now Hellcut is very the definition of stealth. He keeps his HP constantly replenishing while moving at a faster pace when in stealth mode until he is discovered. He temporarily increases his movement and attack speed upon discovery, effectively trapping the enemy. Hellcut may also use a dance work that results after taking down an opponent hero to hide and plan his next move. Skill 1 Hidden Terror Now while Hellcut is in stealth, this skill terrorizes enemies upon effect, shortening its cooldown and ensuring Hellcut sustain his reign of terror with the removal of previously improved effects during his ultimate. This talent now focuses more on strategic stealth gaming. A skill 2 Deadly Stinger Deadly Stinger Halcut's ability is more lethal than ever. He continuously builds up stakes of Deadly Stinger while in a stealth. Preferring to eliminate opponents quickly rather than stacking with each basic attack. Ultimate Dark Knight Falls. Elkut's stealth and ambush skills are highlighted by the minor reduction in sight range and impact duration on falls. He no longer possesses the attack speed boost effect, which balances his power surge at that final phase. Next, we have Fovius with us. Let's start with his skill 1. The principle of this skill has been changed thoroughly. It no longer stacks up to 5 times but deals damage in the same area and if you reach that spot, the heroes nearby will be pulled towards the center. His skill 2 has also changed. Now it has a higher range. It acts as a chain now, pulling the targets in the range towards him. As both skill 1 and 2 can now trigger his ultimate, it will be easier to spam his skills. His ultimate is also tweaked a bit. The target which dashes will be marked. Which means you can use this skill till your ultimate last. Let's check out our violinist. Now this is the hero I am excited for. Granger has two energy bars instead of bullets or perforation. Since this is an early access, we don't have full animation of the skills and the skill descriptions remains the same for all skills. <laughs> I will compose the greatest Here is the concept of the revamped skills. The left side energy bar is used when using his first skill. Let's make this quick. 
and the first skill continues to fire until the energy runs out. I'll compost with your corpse. This somewhat resembles Kimmy's first skill, which means players now have to wait until the energy bar is full to deal 100% of the damage. With the blue buff, the skill effect lasts a little longer and the region of the energy is also fast. This skill can be cancelled by retaping at it. The fun part is that the first skill has a cooldown of 0.5 seconds. Yes, you can spam it. But it will, however, have no damage. The second skill remains the same and can be used to create combos with the first skill. Your death. Let's now see the ultimate. We do see a purple energy bar on the left side, but however, upon checking the skin effects, remains the same as the old one. Granger fires three cannon shot in the targeted direction, dealing AoE damage upon hitting the first enemy, and it now deals damage to the creep as well. Unlike the previous one, where the cannon shot passes throughout the buffs, the new revamp for the ultimate doesn't have any cooldown effect, but it requires certain amount of energy to be used again, just like the first skill. Two hours later. I only fight for myself. No one else. Day two. And you can use it one bullet at a time, unlike before, where all the three shots has to be made. My crescendo of bullets. Don't even try escaping my sight. Behold, my crescendo of bullets. Let's make this quick. So Granger means, are you excited for the new Islandist? Well, I'm very much since this will require strategic play and his first skill now can milk you like a chocolate. So what do you think about these revamped guys? Hellcut mains, are you ready to dominate the land of dawn with the new Shadowbringer? Legendary. Comment down your thoughts below. That will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.